Hey, what is going on guys? Captive Chunk here and in today's video it's actually going to be a video on how to fully set up OBS for streaming using an Elgato uh, device or an Avia Media, you know, anything you record your gameplay on will do. So first of all we're going to head into OBS 64-bit, you might have 32-bit, that's just how your computer is. So first of all you want to actually make sure that you have the latest version Elgato software and the latest version OBS. So currently I'm on 17.0.2 OBS. So in this video I'm actually going to be showing you everything what is on the screen from the live subscriber account from the border and you know just the in general things I add to my live stream. So if you are one of the people who obviously do participate in supporting the streams I do appreciate it a lot. And this video is actually dedicated to a lot of people who actually do join my stream because you know they're wanting to do streaming a go themselves so why not show them you know so what you're going to want to do is you are going to want to i don't know why that helped you are going to want to add a new scene uh tutorial even though i spelled it wrong because my keyboard's so tricky some keyboard uh, some keys have to you know tap on the buttons really hard but yes, on sources, now sources, you want to make sure you name your sources correctly because if you like me, where you like pulling things on, because I do uh, frequent giveaways, and you know what, I, I add a couple of images here and there to the stream and pull them out at times. If you're going to be doing that, you want to make sure you name your sources so you know what you're pulling in and you know what you're pulling out. So you are going to want to obviously add your video game capture first, which is of course the Elgato, I'm just going to call it video. Look, you see what I mean about my keyboard? I'll just call it that. <laughs> so yeah, on device it'll pop up Elgato as you see it in the top corner there, you want to click on that and on resolution FPS type. Obviously you want to make the resolution to what your actual preview box is, so I'm just going to click on custom and go on 12 8 here and click you want to make sure you click on configure video and configure crossbar now you'll see it does look a bit messy but you just drag that down and as you see it fits to the uh, full preview page now my Elgato software my, the PS3 screen isn't going to actually load because I don't actually have my PlayStation on so now we're going to actually jump into the next scene which is the border so you want to click on image you want to type in bang or whatever the keyboard is so dicky i don't know why it does this i think it's something from my computer because when i restart works fine <laughs> but you know i don't want to be bashing the buttons down the mic because you know that kind of can be annoying so there's my border i'm going to add that in and as you see there it's fit to the right thing if yours comes up here you know just simply drag it down there and you know center it make sure it's all correct so now the thing we are going to actually enter is our live subscribe account so you want to click on browser source just type sub well i'll just do fine and you'll see this looks kind of really weird you want to remove the url and you want to head over to live subscribe account personally i'd use this website because it is one of the most powerful live subscribe accounts there is out there and you, once you get to this screen, you just want to click on that and type in, obviously, your channel, which is going to be difficult for my keyboard acting up. E. <laughs> so as you see there, we've got this live subscribe account. You just want to click on the URL, copy that. You can now cross that off, and you are going to want to click on sub. Uh oh, it's still loaded up, sorry. And you want to paste that URL in there and click OK. And you'll see it looks really, really messy right now. But you know, don't worry about that. So now you want to right click on sub, click on filters, and you are going to want to add a crop and pad. Just click OK. You don't really have to focus on the names of this because it's probably the last time you will actually go into here. So this will be different for everybody because obviously we all have different subscribe accounts. So you know, you can mess with it. I'm going to go with 200. Let's go with 220 on that one. And as you see, it's cropped the side to that. It should be the same for the other side, which it is. And then, of course, you want to go on. No, that's a little bit too big. 190. Uh, no, let's go 220. No, let's go 210. See, that looks perfect for me. The bottom is always a little bit more on what the other one is. Uh, 270. Oh, shit. I put something. 80. So yeah, that looks kind of spot on for me. 
So now you're going to want to right click again and click add and you want to click on uh, color key and once you've added that in you want to click on the co uh, key color type and click on custom and click on select color. Pick stream color and you want to click on the background of the thing and as you see there it's made it kind of transparent. Now you can remove you can move this to anywhere you want. Uh, I personally have it there because I've kind of put something on my border for that. So obviously I just make it a smaller size and you know put it there. And it looks kind of snazzy there. So again, I'm going to actually show you how to add like a personal PSN name or Xbox name, whatever you want to add, like some text uh, to the actual screen itself. So I'm just going to put PSN. Uh, and then obviously you can pick your font what you want you can make it bold uh, I just use the default font so it's nice enough you know uh, Kevin one two three and you can make it vertical if you want personally I don't like that select color and you know you can mess around with the colors obviously you're going to want something what doesn't fit with the actual back why is my text gone like that Okay, that's really, really weird. There we go. So, and then obviously, if you want to add like a nice uh, outline to it, you can also do that with this. Uh, you can also add a background color onto the text if you like. Uh, why is it doing that? I don't know why it's so messy up. Outline, as you see there, outline. And in outline, you want to obviously click your color. So you want obviously want to go opposite the color of your text, which is probably red. And as you see, there's a text. Uh, you can turn up the opacity or anything. I just choose to leave it like that. Can make it a little bit bigger, and you know it fits really nice there. So you know it stands out really well. The text stands out. Easy for viewers to see. Personally, I this is something I don't actually use on the screen quite a lot. But you know it's always there so you don't have to actually go into photoshop and actually me if you like me where i'm always changing psn names and stuff you know it's just so much so much easier for you yourself if you want to add an image uh, to your thing you just do the same thing like i use CID, i cover my cid up with cid uh, i'll find that image which is john cena there you go and obviously my cid is the down at the bottom right corner so i just thingy and as you see this is already a pre-made photoshop picture i actually have for this personal thing you know it's just as easy as that you can move it around you can do anything you would like and for your mic options obviously this is the elgato that's actually full at the minute i recommend if you're using music from your desktop is having your elgato software around about here your desktop volume around about the same and obviously you want your microphone to be you know the higher volume out of the lot because you know you want people to hear you uh, better than they can hear the game volume as well as the uh, music and whatnot so again you can add all different kinds of things if you like me where I do the giveaways you can head over to Nightbot uh, and you can also click on display capture uh, give let's call it give no we don't want monitor let's cancel that don't know why it's put why it's put that remove that add oh sorry it's window capture my bad why is that loaded up I don't didn't want that loaded up Can click on that and as you see you can click thingy this is how i actually use my rtm tools and whatnot on the screen but you know i don't really want that because obviously you know i don't want that <laughs> so we're going to remove that and you know there's a lot of things you can actually do with obs personally i don't actually think it is one of the best uh, programs to actually stream with the only reason why i actually use it is because it gives you a really massive uh, different features to actually make your stream look more professional so again, if you want to add things in onto the screen, you just click the little eyeball and it will pull it straight out of the screen. Uh, and you know, just have a mess about with it, you'll get the hang of it. You can also add scenes where 
you know, where you can like, kind of make it animated at the bottom. Personally, I don't use that because obviously I've got a border. But you know, just like I said, mess around with it, get the hang of it, and you will sure feel the need for it, you know. You can do giveaways on Nightbot and stuff like that. Uh, <clears throat> as you see there, I've got giveaway ticket and our Tim tool. If I just click that. As you see, it's popped up on the screen there. You can just make that smaller when you're doing the giveaways. And you know, just do what I do, sign, log in, log in with YouTube, and obviously allow that. And then just head over to the giveaways and you know, just type in, uh, I normally do the keyword. Type in any keyword you like, chunk. And you know, you obviously, I am not live streaming at the minute, but you'd see all your chat here. And all, you tell all your users to type chunk in to enter the giveaway. And you know, sharing it on the live stream as well as doing it obviously makes them make feel more comfortable because you know there's a lot of people out there who do fake giveaways and whatnot. So you know, I would definitely recommend doing this. And yeah, practically that is it. In today's video, I you know basically just showed you how to fully set up OBS for streaming. Now the reason why I didn't actually show the stream settings is because I've actually already done a video for that. So if you do want to check that out, I'll leave it linked in the description. But moral of the story, you don't actually need to change your Steam's screen settings. Uh, the default settings are just as good. And you know guys, if you do like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and do subscribe if you haven't already. And you yeah, guys, that has been a video for today. If you do like this video, of course, like the video. Why have you just said that twice? But yeah guys, that is me. I'm out and I'll see you all in the next one. And just before I do actually jump off, I'd just like to apologise for the disruption in the background. That is my parrot Gizmo. So yeah guys, that is me. I'm out and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.